How you going, Aquarius? I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. We've um, got your reading. It should take 25 to 15 minutes, roughly. Um, I use three different messages to put triple emphasis on the spiritual message for you. And um, if it doesn't resonate, don't, don't force it to fit. Yeah, it's not, not the way it works. Um, if it does resonate, can you give me a like or subscribe or uh, even leave a comment? Uh, we're going to start right now. Build it. That is beautiful. That's personal achievement. Uh, it's like I'm talking to a personal chief soul at the present moment. Um, it's, ooh, ooh, just flicked itself right out of the deck. It's like um, it's like you're happy within yourself, happy in families, happy in spiritual spirituality, happy in jobs, happy in everything where you are abundant at the present moment because she's happy in her abundance, and this is happy in families and and having that spiritual material satisfaction. It's like spirit saying what's cooking at the present moment. Yeah, look, something's coming in the background there for you at the present moment. That's also the King of Love, the Nine of Pentacles. I love the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a great card to have. It's like it's that like you're totally in line with your higher self, but you're worthy of bliss and abundance, and that you're about to enjoy. It, okay, and then we've got the Ten of Cups there, which is like that uh, spiritual and satisfaction in harmony and relationships, and, and that all that good stuff that comes around when you're when you're just vibing high and blending those energies together, um, and, and that's like a state of oneness by bringing harmony and love to it, like relationships, and with those two together, you'd be happy around friends and family, and you know having all that cool cool stuff and those clarity and those relationships and desire to nurture not only your family and your pets but yourself and having that beautiful just high vibes yeah look and something's coming in too you just can't see it at the present moment what, what do we got here uh do, pay attention say so this thing here right is like with with this coming in in the background and this thing coming underneath and then that there it's like pay attention to any like fears okay so release that's release fears and then that's like sadness, depression. So release any fears at the present moment, okay? Because there's good news coming. That's the best way to put it. And that's going to be like charging towards that victory in itself because you've worked very, very hard. Many, many moons there. So it's like double emphasis there on, on, on don't keep, stay awake. Okay, don't stay awake waiting for these to come. These, the way that manifestations work is to go to sleep, um, sleep and just go about yourself, be smiley, positive, happy and come all of karma if you're waiting on karma don't wait for karma just let justice happen the way it's coming um, but like the spirit will take you in the direction and pull you towards where it needs you to go naturally as you go on your pursuit of life yeah because you worked hard double emphasis on the hard work and diligence there um Aquarius, that Ten of Cups is beautiful. That's a beautiful energy. That's like community and like soulmates and harmony and all your relationships and family, divine connections, expansion. If you, if you, if, okay, if, if, if you're not in a relationship, this is personal achievement in yourself. So it's like personal achievement in like happiness, family, like, um, like you. The best way to say it, the you and the see how the colors blend into the pentacles. It's like you're abundant in yourself if if you're single, okay. But if you're in a relationship, it's like happiness and positivity and everything and love. Oh wow, love in your family tree, yeah, in your and harmony and balance, yeah, in the domestic life in itself, yeah. Bring bring that love into your daily interactions and then embrace that attitude and adopt that attitude to make things so brightly shining in your universe, yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. It's literally come straight out with the joy and happiness of family. Um, and it's growth. There's some sort of growth in your family in some sort of way. Okay, this is emotional and intuitively. Into Watch out for the devil, okay? Watch out for the devil. The devil is a subordinate mind that stops you from having the beautiful things that you want in your life, okay? But see how... Um, see how, Okay, see how she's high vibing, right? It's like you at the present moment. You're high vibing. That's the best way I could say it. With these two cards to the same, these two cards together that come out at the start, I can explain it in this one card. Okay, high vibing, emotionally intelligent person, right? Who is embracing life for everything they have in their state of oneness by bringing that harmony to love themselves, their relationships, uh, their friendships, their job, everything. It's like abundance, complete abundance. But the thing is, see, this is cups. But if you focus right in the background there, there's a pentacle, and that is abundance. It's like you are the abundance when you smile. She's the queen of love, yeah? And that is growth. That is growth in life, and that is beautiful in itself. We're almost about to flick the devil. Flick the devil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trust your, trust your intuition that something's coming in, okay? Because we've seen that something was coming in on that uh, king, of, king of Cups there, which is the, the masculine, to, if you're waiting on love, there is a masculine coming. Um, doesn't have to be a male or female, there is something coming, um, and it's the counterpart to you, whatever that be, but something's coming, okay, and it's and it's going to 
build you up to be very abundant. Okay, but see the devil there? The devil's the thing that tells you that it's not coming. So, and we don't manifest out of disloyalty. We manifest out of faith and positivity and happiness and, and pure hearts and pure intentions, yeah? And having that, that connection with the divine, literally, thank you, divine, that connection with the divine and that hope. And that hope and keeping that hope alive, yeah? It came out before and taking action in towards your hope and, and, and keeping, there you go, perfect way to say it. Keeping action, taking action into your psychic abilities and knowing you're an emotionally intelligent soul, okay, that is having a human experience and to keep that connection to the stars. Best way to say it. And this one here will stop that. He'll stop that by, t by those vice groups, yeah? He can play for your friends and your family. And he can also play for your mind as well. And we don't want that, yeah? We want growth in life, especially around love and going into the beautiful things in life as spirit going to pull you towards the karma waters. If you have to release any burdens, probably the best time to do it at the present moment, okay? And pay attention to any signs and synchronicities. Signs and synchronicities you see at the present moment, your sixes, your sevens, your one, one, ones, your one, two, three, fours, okay? But release any burn, burns at the present moment because that's spirit pulling you to calmer waters or pulling you in some sort of direction um, and trying to get you to release any type of burdens, you know, that hold you down, you know, shadows and things like that. And pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. In life, we're going to flip the deck, change the decks. Protect your energy at the present moment, which means protect your smiles, protect your dreams, protect your abundance, protect you. Ah, beautiful. Um, Aquarius, um, the ostracizing left out in the cold card just come, come out then. Okay, we're healing from that. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, don't ostracize yourself. Um, if you have been left out in the cold, uh, people have ostracized you, teased you, put you down. Just know you're a beautiful soul. Yeah, we don't need, need that in our life. And that's why we heal and protect our energy. Um, and we release those burdens. Yeah, and we king of pentacles. Oof, that's a warm, abundant, confident leader who's in the right direction. So you're a very abundant in your life in some sort of way at the present moment. And, and you are headed in the right direction. But I need you to protect that. Okay, you're, I need you to protect your abundance. Okay, get some sleep. Okay. It's probably shocking your world, okay? Because we're trying to get that joy in. Um, and spirit can't give those downloads um, until, like, they give you the downloads if you connect to the universe in the way that you connect through meditation, uh, grounding yourself, barefoot, things like that, okay? But a lot of the downloads come from when we go to sleep. Yeah, so that way we can get them in and, and have that healthy sleep, drink in our water and maintaining maintain positive homeostasis within our body, protecting our boundaries and staying positive to who we are, continually learning in life and stepping up to the plate and always learning and being inspirational in life. And that is clarity and truth for somebody, okay? And putting an ending, because that's an ending with this Ten of Swords, to these horrible times in our life. Everybody's had them and they're horrible. We don't want them anymore. Ugh, get rid of them with strength and positivity. Okay, yeah, fighting. And then we're completing that hole out. Yeah, we don't want that in our lives anymore because of strength, yeah. And that's how strong you are. Yeah, we're gonna be to our own drum. We're gonna be unapologetically ourselves, aren't we? Aquarius, what a beautiful reading. I just need you to pay attention to something, okay? One thing I wanna say is it's come out twice. Protect your energy, protect your smile. Yeah, don't let people steal your smile. Protect your dreams. Protect your happiness. Protect you. And when you walk and have a beautiful time in life and walk having the best time ever, um, the whole world will change with you. It will literally open up right in front of you. But we can't have people coming along to steal that from us. We need to have positivity in our life. And she's right there, the social butterfly. And being that social experience that we want in our lives. And um, nobody's asking you to get out and do backflips up and down the street and, and say hello to everybody. All I'm saying is just smile and just know that it's coming, especially when you're manifesting. And we manifest out of positivity. We don't stay up at night. We get some good sleep and we co-create with the divine. You may be staying up at present moment around... Um, whether the things are coming, because that's a part of giving and receiving, whether it's coming, but like that's why Spirit keeps putting emphasis on protecting that energy and having that faith, okay? So those downloads come and that we can lead ourselves to the right direction, okay? And that's inspiration. We got the gift of inspiration. It's double emphasis on the gift of inspiration. Before that is learning and after that is clarity, okay? So you're going to learn something. It's going to inspire you and give you clarity. Uh, and you're moving towards it at the present moment with a ferocious tenacity. And that's the King of Pentacles. He's put double emphasis on that. And what's after the King of Pentacles? 
botanicals is stepping into the right direction. So we're definitely moving away from that stupid stuff and, and protecting our boundaries of all the hollow victories, people telling us we can't do things, people bullying and harassing us and laughing at us and telling us we're not good enough, yeah? And we're choosing the light, we're choosing the sun so we can walk towards that and we're keeping that positivity in our lives, Aquarius. I only got one more card to go. Yeah, beautiful. You, you put in the teamwork. You put in the whole teamwork to level up, okay? And you've chosen joy. Look at that beautiful card, yeah? She's chosen joy and happiness and positivity in her life. We can get these down. And look, 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 look. There it is there. Well, we need to uh, protect our energy. Protect that energy. It's like double emphasis, almost triple emphasis on it. Um, healing in some sort of ways. But you heal the way you heal. You could heal by going to, um, depending on their traumatic experience and the shadows that need to be addressed, you could heal in one day, let alone months and months and months. It's spirits now. In, in spirits world, divine timing. Um, there is no time. Time is only a human experience. Um, divine timing is not on your time or my time. It's on divine timing. So when it comes, it's when it comes. And their divine blessings at 144 on the clock. We need to have a lovely, beautiful day, Chris, and take care.